Hello students, once again welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are fine. So we are back again with the new video and today's video is going to be based on the practical program for class field computer science with python practical file and the practical is write a program to implement a stack as a list for book details. In the last program we have implemented a stack as a list and in this program the same work we have to do. The only thing which is different is we have to take a stack as a list for the book details. So let us understand how to perform this coding of the program. So first of all we need to have a list, an empty list. Let us take it as book details. In this we will take book name and book number. Now we have to start with the while loop and we have to specify which operations on this stack we are going to perform. So we will say print. First operation we are going to take it as a push operation that is inserting the elements. Then second operation we will take it as a pop operation that is deleting the elements. Then the third operation which we are going to take is the peak operation that is showing the topmost element. The fourth operation which we are going to see is the display to display all the elements and the last one will be the exit that is the fifth operation. So this is a menu driven program. The fifth option will be exit that is if we want to exit from the program. Now if the user takes the choice first of all we have to take the choice from the user so ch equals to input enter your choice since it is an integer value so we need to specify the int function here before the input function now if the choice of the user is equal to 1 in that case we need to perform the push operation so we will call the push function in which the name of our stack is book details and we are going to pass the book as a list. So how we are going to do? So in order to insert the element we need to take the book number and the book name. So let us take book number and let us take book name. So we will take the input from the user book number equals to int input. Enter book number like this. And in the second one we need to take the name of the book. So book name equals to input. Enter book name. Okay. Now we are going to take the book number and book name in the form of a list. That is whose name is book. And here we are going to specify book number comma book name okay so this will become a nested list the number of values we will take for book name and book name that book number and book name that will be stored in the uh, that will be stored in the list named as book okay so what we are going to do now we have called the push function here in which the book details empty list is there and then one list is there with the name book which has the book number and book name which we will take from the user if the user takes a choice as one now we will take the next choice that is elif choice equals to equals to 2. In that case what we are going to do we need to have the pop operation that is deleting the elements. And what is the name of our stack that is book details. Now in case the choice is 3 in that case we need to display the data that is display the topmost element. So we need to call which function peak function and again the name of the stack will be there that is book details. And then we have other choice that is if user takes a choice as 4 in that case we need to have the display operation. So display and then we are going to again give the stack that is book details like this and otherwise we can have choice 5 also elif choice equals to equals to 5. In that case we need to exit from the program so we need to give the statement that is a break statement and in case the user does not give any choice from 1 to 5 that should be taken as an invalid choice print invalid choice 
लाइक दिस ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ वी नीड टू डू नाउ वी हैव कॉल दीज फंक्शन सो वी नीड टू डिफाइन दीज फंक्शन ऑल्सो सो लेट इज गो टू द टॉप एंड सबसे पहले चॉइस वन के फंक्शन को डिफाइन करते हैं विच इज द पुश फंक्शन सो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इट एज डेफ पुश हे वी विल टेक द नेम ऑफ द स्टैक दैट इज बुक डिटेल्स कॉमा बुक नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टेक केयर सिंस वी हैव already taken the book number and book name from the user when the choice was one now stack is as a list to list mein koi bhi element insert karana ho we have append function aur list mein se koi bhi element delete karana ho we have pop function so in order to insert the element we will use the append function on the name of the list the name of the stack as a list is book details we will say dot append and what do we want to insert the list book in which the book number and the book name is there and if we want to see what is there in that one that is our stack so we can say print book details like this theek okay, hai so this is our first function now if the user choice equals to equals to 2 we need to call the pop function so we need to define it also so here we are going to define the pop function in which we are going to take the book details as a parameter and then we will just say first we are going to check whether the stack is empty or not so if book details equals to equals to empty it can happen that the stack is already empty so we cannot delete from there so that will be a condition of that will be a condition of underflow but if this condition is not there suppose the elements are there in the book details then what should happen it should print the deleted book is the deleted book is and that is book details dot pop pop function is used to delete the element and append function is used to add the element now the next choice is the choice number 3 in which we have the peak operation that is to display the topmost element so we need to define this function so we say def peak and in the bracket we are going to pass the stack as a list book details like this one and then again this condition will be there so first it will check whether the stack is empty or not if it is empty it is a condition of underflow and uh, you can see there that no such element will be there if it if it is a condition of underflow otherwise we need to print the topmost element so what we are going to do else print the topmost book is the topmost book is how we will see the topmost book length of what is the name of my stack book details minus 1 like this theek okay? hai topmost book is length of book details minus 1 to length of book details minus 1 suppose there are four books so length is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 to here the name of the uh, stack will come book details length of book details minus 1 so in this stack Uh, suppose four books information is there so length of book details is suppose 4 4 minus 1 is 3 the topmost element will be at the position 3 so this is how we are going to check the topmost position theek okay? hai and then we have the next function that is the display function how we are going to do it again pass the parameter that is book details like this one and again we need to check whether the stack is empty or not so we need to copy this one and we need to paste it here so after checking this one if this condition is not there if the underflow condition is not there it means the book information is present in the particular stack so what we need to do for i in range hame sa ek ek karke sare elements ko access karna hai so we will say len of book details minus 1 and end position is minus 1 and the gap is also minus 1 so in that case we need to print that one so we'll say print book details this is that is print the list okay so we have done all the four functions definition push pop peak display or exit jo choice number 5 hai uske liye we have the break statement agar user 1 se 5 ke alawa koi bhi choice deta hai so invalid choice will be shown in front of the in on the screen okay so we are going to run it and it says this was not closed so let us check where the error is here again we'll run it and check the output push pop peak display exit suppose our first is 
push operation that is we need to enter the data of the book book number is suppose 101 and book name is suppose harry potter okay so this is our nested list you can see here print bhi karaya tha suppose again we enter one more book number is 102 and book name is experiments with truth okay now this is our second one this is first book information this is the information of the second book this one now suppose again we enter the choice as one so again push operation and now we are going to add the book number that is 103 and book name is suppose energize your mind okay so we have entered three inf three books information 101 102 103 with their names now suppose we want to display all the elements now the uh, sequence in which the elements are inserted the sequence and the sequence in which the elements will be displayed that will be opposite jab insertion hua to pehle 101 gaya fir 102 gaya fir 103 gaya लेकिन जब डिस्प्ले होगा सपोज फोर चॉइस मैंने ली तो उस केस में आपके पास जो डिस्प्ले होगा दैट विल बी इन दिस केस ठीक है एंटर योर चॉइस दैट इज फोर यहां पे हमारे पास क्या आया प्रिंट बुक डिटेल्स लाइक दिस वन ओके यहां पे आपको करना था बुक डिटेल्स ऑफ आई करना था ठीक है सो so, यहां पे हम इसको चेक आउट करते हैं यहां से अगेन हम लेते हैं चॉइस नंबर 4 ओके जस्ट अ सेकंड लेट अस save it and then run it again okay push book number is 101 then book name is suppose harry potter and book choice again one book number is 102 experiments with truth then we have choice so we take the choice again as one and we take the book number as 103 and book name as energize your mind okay so this is how it has displayed the elements now suppose we want to use the choice number 4 now see the sequences jo last mein hai wo sabse upar aaya display ke time pe kyunki wo upar se display karna start karta hai from the topmost element फिर 102 वाली बुक की इंफॉर्मेशन फिर 101 की और टॉप पे हमारा कौन सा एलिमेंट है जो बुक का जो नंबर है दैट इज 103 तो टॉप मोस्ट एलिमेंट के लिए हमारी जो चॉइस है दैट इज 3 अगर हम वो लें तो आप यहां पे देख सकते हैं द टॉप मोस्ट बुक इज 103 एनर्जाइज योर माइंड और जब आप पॉप आउट कराएंगे तब भी टॉप मोस्ट एलिमेंट से ही वो पॉप आउट करेगा अगर आप यहां पे चॉइस नंबर 2 लेते हो तो डिलीटेड बुक इज अगेन दिस वन और अगर अब आप डिस्प्ले कराओगे तो आपके पास दो बुक्स बचेंगी विद द कोड 102 एंड 101 अब हम यहां से एग्जिट करना चाहते हैं तो यू विल एंटर योर चॉइस एज 5 लेकिन इससे पहले सपोज मैंने 8 कर दी तो ये आपको क्या देगा इनवैलिड चॉइस ठीक है बिकॉज़ हम चॉइसेस में 1 टू 5 ही कर सकते हैं और अगर आप अब एग्जिट करना चाहते हो सिंपली प्रेस द नंबर 5 एंड यू विल एग्जिट फ्रॉम द प्रोग्राम ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव टू डू दिस प्रोग्राम सो लेट अस रन इट लेट अस now take it screenshot to be added in the practical file screenshot लेने के लिए windows shift and s पे आप जाओगे और यहां से आपने इतने part का screenshot लिया load the ms word file पे आपके बाकी के programs है आप यहां पे आके इसे paste करते हैं ठीक है according to the size of the page or your text जो भी आपने लिया है आप इसे adjust कर सकते हो because अब ये एक picture की form में है then again we will go to the python ideally और यहां पे जो हमारा मेन पार्ट है अब हम उसका स्क्रीनशॉट लेंगे इस तरह से विंडोज शिफ्ट एंड एस लाइक दिस दिस वन नाउ वी आर गोइंग अगेन पेस्ट इट लाइक दिस और इसके बाद आपको लेना है इसका आउटपुट आउटपुट लेने के लिए आप अपने सिंपली कर्सर को यहां लेकर आएंगे एंड गिव द हेडिंग एज आउटपुट अंडरलाइन इट कम टू द नेक्स्ट लाइन See, it is coming in the on the next page, so you can take it on the next page also. If it has a space, you can take on the same page also. Okay. So what we are going to do here is we are going to take the screenshot of the output also. We'll go to the output screen of the Python and यहाँ से आपने जितने भी choices लिए हैं आप सब का यहाँ से screenshot ले सकते हो. यहाँ से आपने ये लिया. चलिए. Pop the clip. We we'll go back to the MS Word file, जहाँ पे हमारा output है, paste किया हमने यहाँ पे, 
वापस से हम जाते हैं अपने स्क्रीन पे दैट इज आउटपुट स्क्रीन हमने यहां तक लिया था 102 के पॉप तक ठीक है अब हम यहां से लेंगे विंडोज शिफ्ट एंड एस किया और इतने पार्ट का आपने यहां से स्क्रीनशॉट ले लिया अगेन पॉप तक अगेन गो टू द एस वर्ड एंड पेस्ट इट हियर ठीक है ये आ गया इसके बाद वापस से आप आउटपुट स्क्रीन पे जाएंगे और जितने जितने पार्ट का आपको स्क्रीनशॉट चाहिए आप उसको ले सकते हैं ठीक है लाइक दिस ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव टू टेक द आउटपुट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव टू डू दिस जहां पे भी थोड़ा सा इस तरह से आपका एक्स्ट्रा पार्ट आ रहा है यू कैन गो टू द क्रॉप ऑप्शन एंड यू कैन कट इट एज पर योर रिक्वायरमेंट जस्ट मेक दीज थिंग्स श्योर कि यहाँ से जो आपका साइज है वो थोड़ा सा सही से दिखे ऐसा ना हो कि कुछ बहुत ज़्यादा बड़ा है और कुछ बहुत ज़्यादा छोटा है एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द पेज और द टेक्स्ट यू कैन इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज द साइज लाइक सपोज यहाँ पे हम देख रहे हैं कि ये जो ऊपर वाला पार्ट है जो हमारी पिक्चर है ऊपर वाली वो थोड़ी सी हमारे बड़े साइज में हमें दिख रही है तो हम उसे या तो छोटा कर सकते हैं या नीचे वाले को थोड़ा सा बड़ा कर सकते हैं सो दैट वो क्लियरली विजिबल हो जाए और हमारी जो प्रिंटिंग है वो बहुत सही से हमारे पेज पे आ जाए इस तरह से ठीक है लाइक दिस सो यहाँ से हम एग्जिट हो गए इस तरह से हमारा आउटपुट था ये हमारा प्रोग्राम यहाँ पे फिनिश होता है तो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप नाउ दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू अगर आपको इससे पहले के प्रोग्राम्स के सोल्यूशन और कोडिंग देखनी है तो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में देर इज अ लिंक यू कैन चेकआउट फ्रॉम देयर If this program or coding has been helpful to you you can like it share it and subscribe the channel for more such updates I'll meet you in my next video till then have a good day and thank you